from uh, Alfred of Human 3 and talking about how you guys going to play uh, A plus plus team to meet this team. Do you feel like you played an A plus plus team uh, game last year? Um, well, I think we have, to, we have to bring our best game every game against this team. And like I said before, they, they create so many different uh, problems out on the floor. So much, uh, so much, uh, so much firepower that we always have to play great in order to, to win. So, you know, uh, we have to do that tomorrow night as well. Howard. Howard, my pleasure. Um, LeBron, if you think back to 2012, the first time you and KD faced off in the finals, and what you see now, how, how different is he individually, and how different is just the context of the kind of team he's playing now versus what was obviously a very young Thunder team? Yeah, I think the uh, difference is that uh, it's just a younger team. Um, and we had a little bit more experience. Obviously, we had a couple guys that had already won championships. I think Derek Fisher may have been the only guy
Brian, what do you think of the job RJ has done on KD in the series? It's been a seem to be going up every night. And how does that, how, what does that change for you defensively? And how does that allow you to play defensively when RJ takes back? Well, you just have to give uh, the other great scores different looks. You know, if you give KD and Steph uh, a steady diet of the same guy every single possession, then they're going to figure it out. And they're going to, they're already great, so. They're going to figure out even more. So, we able to just put different bodies on KD, myself, RJ, Swish at times, Sean uh, uh, as well. You know what I'm saying? Same with, with Steph, you know, Kyrie, Swish, and myself, and Sean. Give them different looks. You know, just try to keep them all balanced as much as you can. But I think RJ is doing a great job. And, uh, you know, he's just stuck to the game. But, you know, KD is uh, obviously an exceptional you know, offensive player, exceptional player. And, uh, He's going to make big shots, he's going to take shots. But you just got to try to make it tough on him and limit it um, as much as you can. Real quick, switching subjects. You touched on earlier about turnovers and guarding the three-point line and all that. The three games here this year have not been close. You've lost all three by double figures, but obviously you won the two here in the playoffs last year. So how much stock do you put in the first three games here in this building this season and how much do you rely on winning two playoff games here last year? Any on any regular season game, yeah. we're not the same team. We don't prepare the same way, uh, so I don't put anything on the regular season game. Uh, but we didn't play well in game one and game two. You know, so we, we watch the film and we see what we, what we didn't do well. And if you don't do something well, then we'll make you pay for it. So you know we have to be you know, 20 times better uh, you know, in this building. Right. Brian, uh, you told us the finals are a stressful experience to go through. Getting that one win under your belt, does that change the pressure at all? Does that change, you know, kind of the the, the mental makeup of, of your team going into Game Five? Uh, not, not for me. I don't know. The, the playoffs are stressful and uh, just the preparation, things of that nature. But you know, that's just from how I prepare. It's no added stress to going on.
together was good for basketball, the way that they put their team together. Do you have any sense, knowing the history of the game, that people are perceiving this differently for some reason? Because there's always been great teams put together in NBA history. Um, well, I can see it from both sides. I'm not going to exactly give you my opinion on how I can see it from both sides. I will at some point in my career. I'm not at that point right now. I know what I say kind of gets people take it the wrong way. So I have my opinion on how people see it from both sides. And I have pretty good knowledge about it. So a few years from now, David, I'll tell you how I really feel about the whole situation. But uh, they're a great team. They're simple. Um, as good as you can be uh, as a professional team. And uh, not a question of a championship. And I mean, you can respect it. Last one, Janie up front. Heather Brown, Janie McCauley from Main Peak. Um, they're adding three on three to the Olympics. I just was hoping to get your quick thoughts on that and whether you ever consider playing that and any other any other thoughts. Uh, first of all, I think it's great for basketball.